I want to watch this. I'm super interested in the LARPing documentaries that are out there. And it's a, it's fascinating to me to see how uh, different news sources, news medias will portray uh, our game as like, is it a hobby? Is it a cult? Is it, you know, like I'm, I'm super interested in that. So we're going to give this one a watch. This one is Dagger Here documentary by... Looks like Leah the Photo Ninja um, here on YouTube. 27 subscribers. Um, this has almost 30,000 views. That's really good. Let's um, let's give this one a take. Let's... Oh, those are cool. The masks. Tallahassee, so we're in the you know south this down here. From a chapter in Ohio called Arendor, and mm -hmm. I found the game while I was in college. I moved down here to Florida, and there was there weren't any groups here in this area, so I uh, started talking to a, talking about the game to people at my job. So <laughs> got a few people involved. They told their friends. They told their friends. Um, there was maybe maybe a half a dozen of us. Usually the practices were just two or three of us, and we fought out at Tom Brown Park. Um, decided, you know what? Let's actually push the move. That first one. Let's watch. I mean, so we talked about the difference between the bats and the flat blades. Um, the bats tend to be a little bit lighter, a little bit more realistic looking, but you can, if you hit someone with the flat of that sword, it doesn't count. And then what it looked like here, got a few people involved, like this guy just flatted told somebody. Friends, told their friends. Um, there was maybe, maybe a half a dozen of us. Usually the practices were just two or three of us and we fought out at Tom Brown Park um decided yeah <laughs> he just straight paddled this guy uh this shot you're you're not supposed to hit people with the unpadded side of your sticks here you know what let's actually push to move it over to campus we'll get more people walking by and joining us that way moved on to campus i got one girl who just kind of showed up and she got so involved she ended up being the president of the student organization and that's last pl you start a little spark and it starts mm. a wildfire very true it's not always just about the fighting. The fighting is one of the major. I like her get up. That's cool. But even if you're not a big fighter, there's plenty of other things for you to do. I learned to make chain mail. People learn to work with leather. Mm -hmm. uh, I know people that. I like the point she's making here because that's for me very very true. The the fighting aspect of the game is what is often the most visible, and for some people, some of the most fun. Uh, but the off the field stuff, the crafting stuff, uh, is really what kept me right the fighting is what hooked me the crafting and off excuse me the crafting and the off the field is what uh keep kept me coming back just because i i love learning um i love learning new things and new crafts and um this uh she's very very correct in all of the different things that you can do in larping they have learned medieval pottery so they can make uh, historically accurate medieval pots. It, one thing leads to another, to the doorway. And if you're looking, you can find something else that mm -hmm. you can love about Dagger. Very true. If someone who knew nothing about Dagger here came up and asked me about it, I would tell them that it was a medieval combat sport. Mm -hmm. The rules in a match tend to vary according to what match we play. Um, we have traditional team battles. So just like in Halo or any other game that has a team game in it, you Great thing to do, by the way, if you are watching this and you're trying to explain to people that you are talking to to get them to understand what game you're playing, uh, use video game terms. If you're creating games, uh, use video game game modes. Uh, because if I say this is Team Deathmatch, everybody knows what I'm talking about. That is definitely a good thing to do when you're talking to new players in particular and trying to explain rules is uh, use video game terminology who just fight to the death and one yeah. passion many hobbies no joke that dies first is the losing team that's the best way to describe it. a torso shot will kill uh losing any two limbs uh two swung shots uh, will also kill so uh two arms an arm and a leg two legs any combination of that swung headshots don't count uh, headshots with projectiles do. We call it a uh, an honor-based mm -hmm. combat game. Honor-based because 
uh, we don't go out of our way to say, hey, I killed you or I, I took your arm. You know, you need to do that because we think that if, if you took the shot, you should take the shot. You know, and we leave it at that. We don't we don't try to become our own referees. If I feel like I, I hit you in the arm and you didn't take that arm, I'm just going to make sure the next time I hit you it's a little bit harder and you know where, you know, I hit you in the arm. It was a fair shot. In Dagger here, there is a huge event every year. It's a week Ragnarok. long. Ragnarok. It's called Ragnarok. Yep. Um, it takes place in Pennsylvania, and it usually has at least 1,200 people there in attendance. And battles upwards of five to 600, sometimes more. So there are lots of events um, that you can go to in Dagger here. There's actually two in Georgia that are really close by. Um, you can go to Ides of March yep. or Winter War. And I've heard good things about both of those really events. Big fight. I haven't been to it yet, but I plan on going to Ides of March. Um, I love this March, so <laughs> we got to go back. I love the little, this is something in DAG that is just not in amp guard. These little stab only daggers. They make me laugh, man. I love them. You can go to Ides of March or Winter War. <laughs> you can see it right here. And it's just this little stab only dagger. I love it. I love it so much. And it's a really <laughs> big fight. I haven't been to it yet, but I plan on going to Ides of March. Um, this March, so in about 20 days. <laughs> My name is Shadow Haze Alterada, Emperor of Mirkwood, Knight of Daggerhair. Welcome to Eyes of March. You are about to be taken on an amazing journey through our little subject. In some ways, it's a, it can be a fairly schizophrenic mm. group uh, with people who, have, who are here for one reason and people who are here for another totally different reason. Or you can look at it as possibly a spectrum uh, from people who are what we would say flirty, <laughs> uh, who, who want to be here so they can just get in character and pretend that they're a, you know, a Viking or an orc or a warrior of some kind. And then people who are what we would call stick jocks who, which that seems uh, to go across every game <laughs> want to just be out there swinging a stick and hitting people and try to do that as well as they can so uh for me it's it's a chance to be immersed in sort of this environment where everyone is sort of enthusiastic about their about their fighting and about their the group that they fight with and where everyone is 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 sort of really i i, I say that with quotes because mm -hmm. we're not actually using weapons but everyone's really fighting um Everyone is actually hitting each other. We're not just sort of throwing bean bags and saying that they're lightning bolts. And uh, <laughs> I love the uh, the hate on Amp Guard and uh, Larpy like that quote Larpy Larps out there. But I got to give it to them. One of the things I love about their game, just look how good it looks. I don't see any blue jeans. I don't see any neon. I don't see any you know backwards hats and sunglasses like Dyer does in general, look significantly better than Amp Guard. Uh, everyone is actually running around and being stronger and being faster or being more experienced, being more skilled, being more accurate, being more um, agile. Those all help you out in the game. We have lots of battle types in the game of Dagger here. Um, to divide up pretty easily, you have non-res battles and res battles. A non-res battle is you fight, you die, and you stay dead until one team has successfully killed the other team or completed whatever the objective is. A res battle is you die, you go back, touch a res point, which is sometimes a herald, a cone, a tree, whatever we can get our hands on, and you get to come back out and fight, and the fight just keeps going and going and going until the objective is finished. Those are the two simplest battles. From there, you can go into bridge mm -hmm. battles, open field battles, capture the flag, legendary shield. So it's just pretty much whatever the mind can imagine is yep. what we Very have true. Play of battles. And every event you go to, you always find a new battle. And I like this book right here. That's a good idea. Just a like a physical copy of basic rules uh, passed down from one person running the park to the next. I like that. Try to put your own spin on it whenever you run a battle or an event. It's all about the gully battle. The gully battle. Started, yeah, everyone comes died to the gully battle. So that's or happened in a few hours. It's a really thin... The bridge battle, essentially. Fifteen people deep on both sides, just crashing into each other. But you get to come back. It's, it's the best game. Infinite lives. You're out there. You're running around. You're hitting guys. You're getting hit. It's a big rush. This is the best battle of the year. <laughs> I love it. It gets my blood up. It really does.
I tell the guys beforehand, I tell them, you know, take the nice part of you, take that gentle part of you, take that really good part of you and set it aside. We'll pick it up again at the campfire. But right now, we're getting in there and we're knocking some people over and we're stabbing them in the chest. You saw right there something else that is illegal in Dagger here that is not an amp card, which is grappling, uh, which really doesn't happen that often in my experience. I think I've only seen grappling at like, like real grappling that is successful uh, once or twice. Most of the time you initiate a grapple on somebody and you just instantly get killed by their teammates. We'll, we'll back up and watch it again. Take that really good part of you and set it aside. We'll pick it up again at the campfire. But right Here now, it is. We're getting in there and we're knocking some people over and we're stabbing them in the chest. Both of them probably we're died though. It so again. it wasn't we're that effective. <laughs> until their will breaks and their people start walking off the field. This game's one in the end, not the beginning. So you've got to set a pace and just knock them. And just knock them and just knock them. It's like being a boxer and you're just sitting there throwing that jab, throwing that jab, throwing that jab for 10 rounds. Then you have the ground. Here comes that yes, block. Bam! And then it's it. And you break the ground and it's over. <laughs> At the end, the team that is the least out of the three teams will be consumed by the other two teams. I'm a vice president of Dagger, so I have a more important role, I guess, than some. I don't just come out and fight every day. Like this event, for one, I run the event or am helping run the event with a few other people. Dagger here to me probably means a little bit different than a lot of other people that fight. I came into the game just looking for uh, just kind of a sport in a sense. And since then, I've found family, friends, and a way to get out aggression, a way to just like sit down, have a good time, relax. But first, and I like his mantle right there. That's a pretty cool like design over the armor. I really like that. Foremost, it's a way to just like be who I am and who I am in real life and bring it into the game. And that's I, as a blood runner the group I fight with, we fight on the front line. We don't step back behind other people. And that's how I've always kind of lived. I just stand up and take a challenge head on. It just lets me be who I am. Back here to me is, I mean, it's, it is first and foremost a sport. Uh, mm. It is a it is a physical contest. Like the beaver hat. Uh, competitors. Um, that's the that's the central part of the culture. The trimmings, however, <laughs> like the uh, the nightlife at events, the, the the camaraderie that you get with your unit mates and with people that you fight with a lot. Um, that's it's really it's icing on the cake is what it is. When you can spend the day <laughs> beating each other up and then spend the night. Black Hawk. Enjoying each other's company yeah. and having fun and being and being friends. There's a camaraderie that that transcends uh, anything else. There's no one in the circus that I don't consider among my very best friends, and that's a huge thing to come out. It's a neat unit name, the circus. All of my I like it. People and do a sport that I love. And I, I meet all kinds of people from different ends of life. I mean, I'm a chef. He he does interior work on. So here, oh yes, old school dagger here. Can you let me know? how old school this is um let's see this video came out in oh i guess 2012 so we're almost 10 years old now okay <laughs> makes sense blackhawk used to own a construction company i know uh lawyers doctors uh all kinds of accountants and everything like that these really calm dudes in in normal day they come out to a dagger of dagger here event and they're roaring and they're ripping through people they're yelling and they're getting raunchy drunk probably the best thing ever i have a great time doing this sport i love the people around all the all the people that you get to meet right and on, see man. like they come from everywhere very and true they come to these big camp outs like we're at we're a hundred plus now from last year there was like three three hundred max last year or something like that it was like 260 and this year we're over, we're over we're over 360 now so it's like and it's it's spreading everywhere. Really, what I'd like to see is the game grow with just good people. It's, it's not the I guess we can that matter. It's the quality pause it here too. Once you get up uh, something to note for some of our viewers who maybe have not played this game or other games in particular, uh, a lot of times people in in Amcard it's yellow or gold. It's gold sashes. Uh, gentleman here is wearing a yellow tabard. Uh, most of the time, your Reeves, your Game Runners, your uh, essentially the Dungeon Masters, if you're used to that terminology from D&D, &D, will be designated in some way uh, so you know who to listen to. Uh, in 
you know, most of all the DAG events that I have been to, the Heralds is what they're called, will have these yellow or gold tabards on. And that's how you can kind of tell who's running the game and who you need to ask questions to. So if you have a battle that's 100 people or 200 people, it's not a huge difference unless you got like 200 quality fighters. Uh, the numbers are exciting to see out there. It's amazing seeing huge sprawling battles in the hundreds groups of guys or girls that are just working together and have for a while and they're just putting on a show. I like the drum while they're playing. That's cool. probably watch all this and let them go in the background but pretty cool i like the uh i love seeing how games have changed over time too so this came out you know 2000 i think 2003 is what it was 2002 uh, so we're talking 10 years ago now and uh, the game rules have changed slightly um but pretty similar still uh, pretty cool to see how long some of these games can run and the impact that they have had on so many people's lives over over decades, really. Um, can I speed this up? I feel like I need to still show it, but get through all the credits here and then we'll uh, we'll go and we'll take a look at a another video. I've got an idea for ne for the next one. Here we go. Cool. So this video um, was Dagger Here documentary uh, posted on Lala the Photo, Photo Ninja. Uh, so if you liked this video, come over here and subscribe here to give more um, or to support this channel. No.